Welcome back to Transport Fever 2, everybody. I hope you're having a good one because I am excited to be back, but I am, admittedly, a little bit sick. I've got to be honest with you, I'm a little bit sick. I've been suffering migraines for this last couple of months, and yesterday was an absolute nightmare. I went out to see Top Gun, which, by the way, the new Top Gun movie, pretty good. I haven't seen the first one, but this one was, was pretty good. Probably going to go watch the first one at some point. Just saying. Anyway. Now that that's out of the way, I, I got a migraine yesterday and it was terrible and my head still kind of hurts the next day. It's just everything's a bit fine. Look, I've talked to a doctor. I'm getting some stuff about it. But if you've been wondering why videos are a bit few and far between recently, it's because between migraines and generally just being a bit unwell, it's been a nightmare to be in my office. So welcome back. I'm feeling a little better today. I've been prescribed some stuff to deal with the migraines and the general sickness. So hopefully this is the first day of the rest of however long it takes me to not be sick. In other good news, we have 105 units of meat arriving here in Fargo for $2.1 million. That is fantastic. And then we have 30 units of food going back or more than 30 units of food going back to Philadelphia because we have good food production happening here in Fargo. It is getting loaded onto the train. So at the very least, we're going to have some food going back to Philly. So this line is now doing what I wanted it to do. I'm pretty confident in saying it has successfully replaced the, you know, the food production line that was here before. So that's nice. And I'm actually curious to see just how much this train ends up with when it leaves. Okay, 55 units of food is not bad. That's over halfway full, which is what we're looking for. So I'll take it. It'll get back to Philadelphia. Everything should be fine. I do think we want to get our hands on a second train for that line, though, which is going to be kind of expensive. But the reason I want to do that is because it turns out we are almost at a surplus of meat in Philadelphia. We could fill more than three trains with the meat that is sitting here in Philly right now. So let's let's take a look and let's see what we can do. I'm curious to see how much it would cost to just duplicate this train. There's only one of them. We have 2.2 million and we don't have enough money to clone it. So how much are you worth by chance? You're valued at over 3 million, so probably closer to 4 given that we have, you know, we've had this thing for a little while. How old is it? It's very good age five years. Yeah, so probably closer to four million dollars for a, uh, a second train on that line. But I would say that's doable. I don't I don't think that's that's going to be too difficult to do, especially since, you know, we're about to get money here and then food goes into Philadelphia, which is more money. So I'm hoping for good things. Essentially, we're also at a point where we can almost fill four trains. Once that gets to 420 units, we could fill four trains with the meat that's in Philadelphia right now. But we don't have a full train coming in. So let's see how much 55 units of food is going to do for us. 1.1 million. Not bad at all. This guy should pretty much immediately fill up and he has. So he's heading out. And fortunately, it seems like this food depot or this, this depot in general is going to be just about big enough to deal with 105 units of food coming in. Should it ever do that? Now, what I will do is go into here and I want to just get two more vehicles for that line. I want to go up to five of those to make sure all of that gets into Philadelphia without too much issue. And then I guess we're just sitting around waiting for, I don't know, another $1.5 million so we can get another one of those trains. But while we're waiting, I do want to take a look at all of my lines and see where we are. This train line, it is making money, but it's surprisingly expensive to run it as well. Uh, fortunately, the oil refined fuel line, the one that brings construction materials about, it's doing quite well for itself as well, which is great news, although it is also kind of expensive to run by the looks of it. And then coming down here, the Laredo lines are interestingly not doing very well. The steel to tools line, for example, is running at a consistent loss by the looks of it. So let's sort by name and let's see what's going on. So steel to tools has a frequency of 69 seconds. Nice. And has a rate of 42. And then the tools line has a rate of 67. So let's take a bit of a look here. So this is the steel plant. 
We get one steel, and then one steel creates two tools. We don't have a surplus there. We don't have a surplus here. We do have a surplus of coal, and we do have a surplus of iron. So maybe what we do, this might be a little silly, but maybe what we do is we go in, we manage these vehicles. We have 16 of them. Let's replace those with, I'm thinking this horse-drawn carriage with side stakes because it's pretty much exactly the same as the existing one, but it's kind of designed for coal. It's going to be half a million dollars to do this, but I'm okay with that. And I'm going to do the same here as well. I want to uh, not configure this thing. I want to grab the line. I want to manage the vehicles. I want to replace those with this for $700,000. And we'll see how that goes. Now, looking at those lines, those guys are now at a rate of, let's see, 39 and 39, which is pretty good. The iron ore to, wait, no, hold on a minute. Uh, 39 is you, you, you. Oh, sorry. The slag to train slash bricks to Laredo is 39 seconds as well. So hopefully that helps a little bit. And then the steel to tools thing. Maybe the, maybe the frequency on these guys should be better. In fact, I feel like it should. Uh, the rate, sorry, should be better. Because now that I think about it, we probably want to get these guys set up so that they're bringing in. Oh, that might make sense. Because it's two iron for every. Oh, it is. It is two iron and two coal for every bit of steel. So I think. Am I right in that? It's two iron and two coal for every bit of steel. That's not what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. Yeah, two and two for every bit of steel. Which means these are bringing in, say, 40 every year. Meaning that the steel to tools should probably be a rate of 40 as well. Actually, that would make sense. Wait, no. This needs to be doubled. I think we need more vehicles. I think this needs to be 80, right? That would make sense. So these numbers here need to be doubled. So let's go to here. Let's manage the vehicles. Duplicate. That's going to be 44 of them. Kind of expensive, but that's all right. And then we want to go to the coal line. Manage vehicles. Duplicate up to 32. And then if we look at those numbers, we get 79, 78. That should be better, right? That should mean that we're moving more tools into... Laredo. It should also mean that we have more slag that can move over the trains. So as a result of these extra vehicles, we should actually see more uh, slag end up in this station, which is going to be more money from this line as well. So this actually has some knock-on effects that I think are pretty good. So we'll see how that goes. As for everything else, I think at this point, what are we doing? We're waiting on this train coming back to Philly with 93 units of foot. Beautiful. And there's still more waiting as well. Not bad at all. That is exactly what we need. How is Fargo doing for food? It's actually at 70%. Not bad. So Fargo should see some growth at some point, which might be a reason to throw some, uh, some passenger wagons around there. Hell, we could even do a passenger train that goes from like Philly to Fargo. That might not be a bad idea. We could we could do that. We absolutely could do that. And I'm slightly tempted to do that. It would be our first passenger train, but I think my priority probably should be on getting more of this meat moving, right? Get the food production back up in Philly in kind of a big way. Because right now, how are we looking? 50%. So there should be some growth here as well, which is nice. But I'd like it to be better. So I guess now we have the fun of seeing just how much money we get in Philadelphia for dropping off 93 units of food, which is going to be $1.9 million, which is fantastic. So we're going to get another $2 million when it gets back to Fargo. And over here, it's looking like I was right. This depot here is just about big enough to deal with 105 units of food. The problem, of course, is that eventually we're probably going to be dealing with more than 105 units of food. So I might need to expand this thing a little bit. And I think to do that, I'm actually going to have to get rid of some of the decoration that I've done here, annoyingly. But that should be all right. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll pause, as I've done. Going to bulldoze this road. Going to configure this guy. I need to take out all of these little, little buildings here. And then I kind of need to go in and like take out my 
my trees and my decorations and all that stuff because it doesn't need to be there anymore, unfortunately. So all of that goes away. This can kind of go away as well. Some of it can probably stay, but that's all right. And what I'm thinking I want to do is essentially put another cargo platform here because I can extend... Oh, I can't extend this. Interesting. Okay, we might have to be a bit cheeky here. This might work. Yeah. So that gives me a bit of a bigger cargo platform. And I think that might have to be how we do this. I could go further again, I think. I don't know if this is actually going to let me do this. It does. So I think that's how I'm going to do it. A little bit expensive to do it this way, but that's probably all right. So if I do that, right, I could probably do this as well and get some buildings at the side there, but I'll, I'll leave it like that. And then essentially I want to put some buildings. Oh, they fit in really nicely there, actually. Yeah, let's, let's do that. And that. We'll put like a little small one there and there. And can I get two more in the middle? Not really. I'll do two small ones again. And I can't really get room there, but that's, that's fine. It's a little weird. It does look a little weird. I wish I could get some of these, like, I guess I can get them along there, which is something, I suppose. So we'll do a little cargo building there and there. And I'm not really feeling that. I kind of like there, though. That's kind of neat looking. And then there's no room in those spaces, but that's fine. So that gives us exactly what we need. And then what I'll do is just move. Uh, so manage line. We want to move lower Philadelphia over to platform six. And that way they come in, they go around, they have this much, much bigger platform. And that means we can hold a bit more food here. And it also fills up this entire space and lets me detail it, which I'll be honest, I'm kind of looking forward to because we have terrain paints that I can play with as well, such as the good old hexagon here, which I'm hoping I can get this to like line up really neatly. And there we go. I think this looks decent. We still have a couple of open spaces, but it's... It's fine. I think this looks pretty good. Looks like a nice big yard. And honestly, this will be good long term anyway, because if I really want to, I can probably convert some of this into a passenger sort of stop station thing. And it also has the capacity to have more cargo anyway. So if we have any very busy lines, we can, you know, put those on the bigger platforms and smaller lines can go to the smaller platforms and everything should be good right about there. Obviously, at the minute, my priority is still very much. Oh, Detroit Tools Factory is closing. Okay, I'm not using it. That's that's fine. That would have been a bit of a concern. Like if this if this forest went away or if this place went away, I'd be actually ever so slightly devastated. To be quite honest with you, I wouldn't wouldn't be thrilled. I wouldn't be thrilled at all. I'll put it that way. It'd be a uh, be a bit of a problem. But no, we're good. It's not going away. Nothing I use is going away so far. I actually don't know if anything that I use will go away. There is, there are patch notes that explain how all this stuff works, but you know me, I, I read them once and then pretend like I'm an expert for a YouTube video. So we'll just, uh, we'll see what happens. Like I said, though, my priority at this point, now that I've upgraded that little station is, and upgraded the Laredo lines, is to get another one of these guys. Now I could go with a smaller train. I absolutely could go with a smaller train. I don't really want to do that. I want to go with a good size. I want to go with a good size train. I want to get another one of these guys. Alternatively, of course, I could just make this one bigger. And that's something I, it's kind of just hit me that I, I could, I could just make this one bigger. Do I want to do that though? That's the real question. Is this one going to fill up? I suppose that's the actual real question because if this fills up then we probably do want to make it bigger but then it might just keep filling up so i don't know i don't know i guess we'll find out oh now that's interesting it was very very close it was three units off so we should be looking at another like two million dollars when this guy gets back to philadelphia which is good because it means that i can probably afford another train assuming we don't get some good money between now and then because we do of course still have this line going we have a little train down here, which is picking up some construction materials, which honestly, I feel like we need to look into this space down here and figure out why the construction materials thing isn't all that good. We actually have a lot of it waiting to go to Warren. Hold on, Warren slag to brick. 
So what is this is the line that takes it from the station. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, so we might want to double the vehicles on that because there's a lot just sitting around. So manage vehicles. First off, let me replace them with this guy. Then let me duplicate them. And that should make things a little bit better. As for this guy, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just not replace one. I want to replace uh, all of them with this guy. Just so things are a little bit more efficient. But that should help us out. And hopefully those vehicles are coming from Warren, which they absolutely are. And I'm wondering if I should come down here and start doing the same thing. Since we have all these old wagons still going about. Might not be a bad idea. Might not be a bad idea at all. Also, Philly, how are you doing for food? 60%. It has grown, though. Like, it's grown since I last looked at it. So that's nice. Also, where are all my passenger stops? So I have a, I have a passenger stop right here. Okay. So that's good. What do you do? Oh, Brick, Philly, Tools, Detroit. Yeah, we're not, that's the line I just looked at and considered upgrading. We'll, we'll leave that be for now. And as this guy comes in, we should see our money go to about 5 million, which it did. So I'm going to hit pause. I'm going to grab you. I want to manage vehicles and I want to duplicate this guy, which was kind of expensive. But honestly, that's fine. That gives us our fourth train, which should be coming out of down here, which it absolutely is. So now that that's going on, that train's going to head over to Fargo immediately. Although I could probably... I could probably send it to Philly if I really wanted to, which I kind of want to do. So let's try and be a little bit cheeky. And let's see if it's going to let me do this right here. Too much curvature. I don't know that it is. It's not going to let me go to there either. So no, let's go a little bit further back. And... Interestingly, I could cut across and then cut over. That's a little weird. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anywhere here that's going to let me do this, though. Which is... Oh, wait, no, it does it there. Okay, so let's do that. I don't know that this train is going to behave. We'll find out. We'll also go ahead and put a signal, like, here. And I guess we'll put a signal... Oh, I just auto-signaled that. Hold on, turn off auto-signals. I want one there. And I want one there. All right, are you... So where are you going? You're going to Fargo. Oh, I don't want you going to Fargo. Okay. Well, what I can do is, again, be a little cheeky with this. I, I kind of have an idea for how I can, I can make this work. So this guy goes that way. If I go in and I do a little section of track just like this, and then I hit this train and I say reverse... This guy's now going to Philadelphia, should cut over to the correct side of the track, which he absolutely is. And then I can go ahead and get rid of the little extra bit of track right there once the game's done auto-saving. And we should have this guy pick up 105 units of meat and then head over to Fargo, which means the other train's going to be getting here around the time that this one is, you know, well on its way to... Uh, in fact, the other train is just now leaving Fargo with 99 units of food. So, not bad. Not bad at all. This guy's coming in. We should get some good money. We're hopefully going to double the amount of money that this line is making. And that's good. That's progress. So, there we go. He's loaded up on 105 units. Away it goes. The other one's bringing in 99 units. And that should mean that Philadelphia is hopefully going to get all of the food that it actually needs. That's the, that's the goal here. As I've mentioned, I want to grow Philadelphia and then... I want to start branching out. It's taking a bit longer than I... That's not longer than I thought it would. It's just interesting that I'm not... <laughs> it's interesting playing this game and not just going like, okay, we'll do this in Philly and then we'll cross the map and we'll do this in Everett and this in West Jordan. And we'll do this in Burbank. There's a lot of stuff we could do. Absolutely. But I'm focusing on Philly. In other news, it certainly seems like Laredo is actually making money now, which is great news. Uh, the Salinas line comes and goes, which is that train one, but that's fine and to be expected. And the only thing that's consistently not making money seems to be the Philly loop, which is interesting considering 
that the place is growing. I guess just more people are getting themselves horses and carts. I wonder if that's a thing. I wonder if, I wonder if like, if you make a town better, like if you give them all the food and give them all the construction materials, I wonder if that translates. Ooh. Laredo now accepts food and fuel. Interesting. Oh, that's very interesting. Right. Now, that's interesting because, obviously, there's, there's a reason that it's interesting. It's interesting because it means that, technically speaking, we could bring fuel back from here, drop it off up here, and take it into Laredo. It's also interesting because if we end up with a massive surplus of food down here, which we probably will, we can run that up to Laredo as well. Now, the way we could do that is actually kind of similar. We could run it by train. Now, the question becomes, does Philly need fuel? No. Interesting. Okay. So, we would have a we can have a train that... Hmm. How would I do this? I guess we could have a train pick up some food from here and take it up to Laredo. But then it would run empty the whole way back. Or we could have a train go from here over to Laredo if we did like a little little turn there, but it would run empty the whole way back as well. Um, huh. Or we just truck it up to Laredo. That would be an option as well. I, I want to deal with the fuel. I want to deal with both things. I like that. That's an interesting little development right there. That's a really interesting little development. We can move fuel back, which we're not doing. So far, we're just moving fuel to Warren? If I'm not mistaken, so oil to refine to fuel, and the fuel gets dumped in here, and it goes to Warren. Wow. Okay. Okay. Let's let's try this. Let's um let's let's see what we let's see what we can do. Right. Let's see what we can do. So this is slag to train brick to the raid. So oh, I'm missing an O on the end of that. No, I'm not. Okay. So this guy needs expanded, and I guess what we'll do is this. We don't need to go too crazy. We'll expand this a little bit, but, you know, something like that. Can't go any further. That's fine. So we'll expand this guy. And where does the fuel need to get dropped off? I've never dealt with a town that has four needs before. <laughs> this is this is kind of cool. Um, so there's like a little bit of food in there and there's a bit of fuel there. So the, the fuel can get dropped off there. So what we can do is a brick to Laredo. What are these guys? You guys can carry anything. Interesting. What if I was to edit that line and I was to rename that line? So that's brick and fuel. And then if we were to manage the line and we say Pueblo Halt, you are unloading slag, loading up on brick. Let's have you load up on fuel as well. And we'll see how that goes. And then I need to look at this train line. So what are you doing? Manage line. So in Salinas, I need you to both. So what are you doing in Salinas? You're loading up on brick. Can I get you to load up on fuel as well? Wait, what are you? Uh, wait, hold on. What are you unloading here in Salinas? You're unloading slag. Am I not? Hold on a minute. Where, am I? Where is? Where is the oil? Hold on a minute. I am bringing oil down here, right? I pick it up here. I take it to there. It comes all the way down by a train. So if I look at this, like oil, refined fuel. Yeah. Manage vehicles. Uh, not manage vehicles. Sorry. Manage the line. Am I losing it here? Because this guy's supposed to be dropping off. Oh, it is dropping off uh, oil. Okay. And it can load up on brick. It can load up on fuel. And then in. Oh, God. In. Uh... <laughs> How does this work? Oh, that means it's going to be running with fuel back to here, though. So it might not be able to pick up as much oil. That might be a problem, actually. But we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. We'll try this. See if it works out. That might be the change that we need to that line to make this work. I guess. Oh, God. I guess we're going to find out. I'm a little nervous about this, but that seems okay. And then in terms of food, I mean... We could get another train. We could run it from here up to here and have the same trucks grab the food and take it in as well. Or we could just truck it from here to Laredo and then 
I don't know, maybe one day Philadelphia is going to want something else and that'll be something we can bring from Laredo, but I don't know. I really have, I really have no idea. Um, how are you looking right now? 105 units of food. Not bad at all. Okay. And we are also at $6.3 million. So that's fantastic news as well. And it's about to go to like, you know, seven. So this guy should take us up to about 9 million. Long story short, we're actually making money. We're kind of actually making money. It took us long enough, but you know, we're we're here at long last. So what are we looking at? 2.1, 9.5 in the bottom left. Not bad. And the other train is just leaving Fargo with considerably less food on board, but that's fine. Actually, it looks like Fargo might need a few more trucks. Let's duplicate two of them, go up to 10 on that line and hope for the best. And I, I guess, I mean, how much food have we got here? 129? Okay. So what's the, uh, what's the current rate of this guy? So the rate is 116. And the rate on this line is 63. Manage vehicles, duplicate both. And that brings us up to 119. So now we should be able to move every year more than the amount of food coming in. So that's good, right? Admittedly, that is more food than Philadelphia needs. So perhaps what would have been a better idea would have been to actually set up a line that ships this stuff up to Laredo. Although Laredo needs six units of food. Maybe that's what we do. It doesn't need much. Like this guy here, oh well, it's actually starting to grow a little bit. These guys want food as well. These guys want fuel. So let's have a look. They're up to 12. Okay. Okay, okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's let's give this a shot. Let's let's try this. Uh so we'll put a little little drop off there. And I think there was one right next to it already. Yeah, there was. Oh well, that's fine. Uh let's let's try something. Let's have some fun here. I don't think this is going to be the most efficient way to do this, but I'm not super concerned about it. We'll go from there. We'll go to there and we'll go back. And I guess this is road cargo. It is uh, Philly. I guess it's Philly food. I, well, how do we want to phrase this? Uh, Philly food to Laredo. I guess that's how we'll look at it. And I guess this is going to be I guess it's going to be a yellow line. And that'll be all right. So we need a rate of 12 for this thing right now. At least I, I'm assuming this is yearly consumption, right? This is how much they want per year. I would imagine. Also, Laredo is growing really nicely. 358 people here. There's more people in Laredo, I think, than Philly right now. Yeah, which is also growing very nicely as well. So that's fantastic. Okay. Let's, let's go ahead to this line. Let's manage vehicles. Give me four of those and let me put them on the Philly food to Laredo line. And let's take a look at, uh, let me pin you and you are 71, which is fine. You are eight. Okay. Manage vehicles. Give me another one. And you are now up to 10. Let me pin this, manage vehicles, give me another one. And that gives us 12. Okay. So we're now moving 12. We're still going to have a surplus of food in here, but that's that's kind of the idea. And I guess, uh, so Philly, we need more construction materials for sure. And then Laredo also needs more construction materials, but I, I think we'll manage. I guess the real challenge and the real test is going to be seeing what we end up doing with all of this, right? We actually have a lot of slag here as well. Okay. What are you carrying right now? You're carrying a decent chunk of slag. That's fine. What is this other train? That's not the one I'm looking for, but that should have 105 units of meat, which it does. Where's the other one? You're who I'm looking for. And you have no fuel on board right now, which I guess makes sense. Although looking here, we're actually getting a surplus of construction materials, which I kind of suspected would happen. Okay. We might need to start splitting this a little bit 
and getting a train dedicated to these construction materials. Although I'm also wondering if it wouldn't be a, a bad idea to... Hmm. I wonder if we maybe want... Because because here's the thing, right? Um, slag is considerably... It's, it's a lot more productive to use one unit of slag to get two units of construction materials, right? Versus... What is it? One... Yeah, one stone to one brick. So I almost wonder if a dedicated line here would be better. And it, it might be because, well, it's going to depend on the wagon. But if we could move, hmm. Yeah, what if we set up two lines here, right? We have one that manages crude oil to oil to fuel. And then some of that fuel is going to come back. Maybe. Maybe. And then we have another line that's doing... Oh, my voice is not in a good place today. We have another line that's doing slag to construction materials. And then those construction materials are both getting taken to Salinas, but also back to Laredo. That might be the way to do it. That really might be the way to do it. And we do have the money to afford it. So let's take a look at trains and see what we can do. And I think I'm going to go with a slightly more expensive one just because I can. And uh, let's actually take you out. I want this thing in black because it looks fantastic. As for cargo, we can do slag. Uh, it's oil sand. Damn. So we can do slag in a gondola. We can do bricks in a flat car. Interesting. Okay. So what if we did this? So one, two, three, four, five of those. And that can carry seven. This can carry seven as well. So one, two, th that's not what I wanted. In fact, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't hate that. Gives us a capacity of 49 per trip. So 49 slag can come down. That will give, oh, that does give us a surplus of brick though. But I guess if we're transferring the brick to both Salinas and Laredo, that should be fine. So I think this is maybe what we're going to do. So let me buy that train. I'm going to leave it sitting in the in the, the depot for a bit. Because we need to figure out this new line. So the line, I guess, is going to be a new line from here. That goes down to here. And the way we can look at this is in Pueblo, it is going to be... Loading up an oil sand, and it's going to be unloading the construction material. And in Salinas... Wait, hold on a minute. Did I do oil sand? Am I an idiot? I am, yeah. It was slag I'm looking for. Uh, load up on slag, and then turn it into construction materials. And down here, it is unload and load. That should be fine. It should be. Should be fine. So that's what we'll do. And I guess we call this uh, train cargo, I guess technically, is it Laredo or Salinas? I think it's a Laredo line technically. So Laredo, and I guess it's slag to, it's slag to brick, right? We'll do, we'll do this. It's, 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 it's kind of a two-way thing, not slag to slag, slag to brick. That's blick. Um, <laughs> brick. There we go. I got it. All right. So that's sorted. Uh, the color for that is sort of a light blue. I'm assuming that blue right there. And that should be all right. Okay. Although it does look like we're doing... Oh, whatever. So this is this is now an oil line. Exclusively. So I need to go in and say this guy is no longer going to be doing anything with, I guess, no more slag and no more brick. And then for Salinas, no more slag, no more brick. And that should be fine, right? I think that's everything we need. I don't know how well that's going to go, but that now gives us two lines dealing with that. The other thing I need to do is manage these vehicles. And I'm going to get, well, I'm, yeah, I'm going to get rid of one. I'm just going to going to sell it and then modify the existing one. Because we no longer need these guys. Because this is exclusively moving. Um, let's actually just upgrade this entire thing. Let's give it this. 
let's you know put this thing in in black and then for the cargo it's just tank cars and the tank cars i'm gonna make them like a sort of gunmetal gray i think it's sort of a bluish gray but that's fine one two three four five six we'll go for like 70 and that should be all right we'll see if that works out so you know do that and duplicate and i guess we just throw this other train here onto the laredo slide to brick although looking at it interestingly that entire line is on one side of the track which is a little bit concerning so let me figure out why that is because it shouldn't be on one side of the track and i'm assuming it's because it's coming to the wrong side here it absolutely is okay so manage line and here you want to go to platform actually you know what platform one wouldn't be a bad idea but what I can do is set up a little little transfer here. So you go like this, I guess. I suppose that's that's probably fine. And does that fix my uh does that fix my line? It does. Okay. So now we just need signals essentially. So signal I want to have a signal here. And how do I want this to work? I guess I guess there as well makes sense. I guess here no longer makes sense. So we'll give that a shot and we'll see if that works. It should. It did look like the um it did look like yeah. So it comes in, it crosses over, that's all right. Okay. We'll see if that's good. We'll see if that works out. Uh this train is why are you going that way? Oh, that's going down to Salinas. So that's fine. And then the other one here is heading out and doing its thing. It's also going the wrong way. Although I guess it also needs to go down there. Okay. We'll see if this works. It's a lot of money on new trains, but I'm hopeful that this just makes things a bit more e efficient. Because this guy is coming in. This guy should be loading up on fuel. On a single unit of fuel, but fuel nonetheless. This guy is coming through. And is going to wait at this signal, I would assume, for the other train to come out, which he absolutely is. All right. How about we go to this line, we manage it, and we say in Salinas, your maximum stop time is going to come down to about 30 seconds. And here I'm going to say exactly the same thing. And we'll say minimum stop 10 seconds. And that'll probably be all right. Because we do want to speed things up a little bit here. And I'm also hoping that this helps to, you know... Yeah, that's that's kind of what we want there. We want this thing filling up a little bit. So this guy's heading out. Ooh, Pueblo Coffee Refinery. I'm assuming that's this guy here. Okay. Now, that's actually pretty good news. Because... We have coffee beans over here. We can bring them down here and then take them down to here. We could really, we could almost double the food production in Fargo if we really wanted to. Which I'm not against doing. I'll be honest. I am 100% not against doing that. We could also technically do it in Detroit. Like, imagine we brought coffee beans from here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Am I using you? No. I think I'm not. No, I'm not using that. Okay. Uh, I could bring coffee beans from here to here, load them on a train, take them over. Oh, I could do that. Oh, I could do that. Wow. That would be, that would be pretty good. I've got to be honest. That seems like a great idea. seems like a fantastic idea. Wait a minute. Food. Why? Ooh. Why is there const? Oh no. Hold on a minute. Why do we have construction materials in here? <laughs> Hold on a minute. Who who brought the bricks? I need to um I need to fix that. I want this line to sort of exclusively be food, I'm gonna be honest. So in Philly, you are loading up on food. That's not food. Uh loading up on food. And then in Laredo, you are unloading, you know, food. Speaking of Laredo though, how's it looking? Still growing. Plenty of uh, plenty of tools, not too many construction materials. Less food and uh, fuel needed these days. 
A little disappointing, but that's all right. So now we have this guy coming into Laredo, dropping off $800,000 worth of construction materials and loading up with a full set of gondolas full of slag, which is great news. I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm actually going to duplicate this guy. We'll get another train there, and that should help us out a fair bit. That's going to be a lot of construction material going back to Laredo, which will hopefully keep them happy. And we'll probably need to, you know, split some of those lines at some point and make that a bit more efficient, but I'm not too worried about that right now. Uh, what I would like to do, though, is I want to go manage both of these vehicles, and I kind of want to throw more tank cars on there. So let's do... What are we at? 70 on the capacity right now. Let's go up to 140. That might be a bit much. That's 2 million to do that. I guess we'll try it though. 4 million to do that. Let's do it. Let's give it a shot. Go for some nice big trains. Start really moving stuff about and, you know, seeing how it all goes. So long as these trains can fit into the stations, of course. That would be the worry because looking at this guy... That might be a little bit big. That might be a <laughs> might be a little too long for what I want to do here. But it might also be a huge success. And I'm also wondering if all the slag I'm bringing down here, I'm hoping it's not too much. I guess once again we'll find out. Now looking at this, uh uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Can you can you get out of there? No. <laughs> no, you can't. Okay. Um. Alright. That's okay. I can I can I can solve I, I can solve this. Uh let's put this here. Let's put this guy here. Let's take that out of there. And take you out of there. And I guess we try and go for like a little little crossover right about there. So something like that should be okay. And in theory, that train can now move out. Yeah, there we go. So problem solved. It was a little bit too big, but, you know, nothing too crazy. Nothing we can't deal with. So that's good. That's that's kind of what we needed there. This guy comes in. Going to drop off a bunch of slag. I'm actually curious to see how much we get for this as well. Probably about 800,000 as well, I would imagine. So, wow, well, about 800,000. It's not so much as to clog up this depot, but I am going to just expand this guy a little bit to make sure that doesn't happen. And I might throw a building on there. I can't throw a building on there. Can I throw a small one? We could do a couple of small buildings, I guess. These are 80,000. Why are these 80,000? What do they do? Oh, it provides capacity. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's actually really cool. Can I just put a bunch of these here? So what's the... Oh. I didn't know they provided capacity. That's actually really, really cool. So does that mean like this thing has crazy capacity over here? I guess it probably does. That's really cool. I didn't know that. I just thought they were decorative. I don't know why I would think they were decorative. It doesn't... It's, it's a game called Transport Fever. It's not City Skylines, but... I'll take it. Now this should be kind of exciting. We have 140 units of crude oil coming up here. It hasn't gone very far, but that is still a lot of crude oil, and it gives me close to a million dollars. This guy is loading up on a decent amount of oil and then leaving, which is fine by me. This guy is going into there, which is going to be another chunk of change, another 300,000, so not bad at all. Okay. So I, I think we've hit a pretty good spot here with uh, with money and whatnot. I'm actually quite pleased about this. Let's see how deliveries are going here. They are getting food. They still haven't really got much fuel, but they should also start getting more construction materials, which is fantastic. So let's see. How many vehicles we got? We have a rate of 43. What about you? Your rate's 131. All right, we we probably want we probably want a few more vehicles here. There's 20 on this line. Let's go up to 25. We don't need to completely overdo it. But we'll go to 25 just to see what happens there. And 
I guess the next time a train comes by that's looking for a good amount of oil, that train's going to get it, which is good. That's what we want. And then down here, I'm actually noticing that we are a little, a little short, not too short, but we are a little bit short on the amount of meat laying around. So I think the two trains on that line is doing wonderful stuff. I think the trains on this line is doing great stuff as well. And hopefully... Now, you didn't load up on much brick there at all. That's interesting. Do we have a lot of excess down here? It kind of looks like it. We might need to speed this up a little bit. Unless it's all going to Salinas, which it absolutely isn't. So... We might need to look into something down there. It might be a slag thing. It might not be. It doesn't really matter. We're making money, so I'm happy. <laughs>